thanks for stopping back to Pizza Garage. Well, today we're going to put on our oil pan and our water pump. All right, first things first. For the front seal going in the timing chain cover, there are two different thicknesses. There's a quarter inch and there's a three eighths. And the difference being, the quarter inch was used from 1955 through 1975, and the three eighths gasket was used from 76 to 1985. So we'll be using this big gasket, and you can check to make sure that it fits all the way across here from lip to lip. When you push it down, we're going to be pushing it down anyway. So we got the right gasket there. Now let's take a quick look at the back side. The rear gasket fits along the rear main cap here, and you can see that on the gasket, the pan gasket's got this little tab. That little tab has got to line up with the center of that slot in the rear main cap because the seal that goes in there, this tab, you can see it's got a notch in there. And that notch in the gasket for the cap has got to line up with the tab on the cork gasket going around. Okay? So that's got to line up just like that on both sides. Unlike the front one, the front gasket does not have a slot where this fits. This foot just sits on top of the gasket and you use a lot of sealer to make sure that seals. So we'll seal inside this corner in the front and the back and I'll run some sealer all the way around the top side. I'll start with a small bead of my right stuff here but I'm going to want to focus up in this front area where those two tabs meet right there. And I'll just run a, a bead all the way around the perimeter where the gasket goes. I have the pan gasket in place so I want to put some RTV in here to make sure that this seals in the corner here because this is where it will leak if it will leak. And I'm just going to run a small bead across the top down the other side. I'm just going to run that in with my finger to make sure that it seals that really well. Have all your fasteners ready and gently the oil pan down and as you push down the front make sure that the gasket stays in the center you don't squish it out one way or another okay I'll start to put my bolts in as you tighten down the front here just go side to side real slow and as you squish out the uh, sealant on either side, you're just trying to make sure that you're not moving that gasket one way or another. If it gets off center, you just got to pull it off and start all over again. Which is why you want to go slow. And it looks like it's sealed nice and even all the way across. I didn't have them torqued down yet, I just have them run down a little bit. And I can clean up this sealant here, and I'll put the rest of the bolts in. The torque spec on oil pan bolts, these oil pan bolts is 12 foot pounds but you have to be careful sneaking up on that and you want to go in a straight line go around the pan as many times as you can a little bit at a time because what will happen is you can start to squish this gasket out here well before you get to 12 foot pounds so I like to go very very slow once I get it tight quarter, not even a quarter, an eighth of a turn at a time and watch for that gasket to start to come out. If that starts to come out you got to stop because you'll end up squishing that out of there and you'll create a leak. Okay, oil pan is on. We'll flip it over and we'll put the water pump on. One thing with the water pump, this bottom hole here is a through hole. It goes all the way into the water cavity so you have to make sure you seal this thread here, seal this hole with some silicone sealant or I'm going to use my right stuff. The other three holes are blind holes so you don't have to worry about those. So I'll put the water pump on, put my gaskets on and bolt it up. The other thing is there's brackets that go with this so you want to put the bracket on now so that you don't take the bolt back out and risk causing a, a leak path when you take the bolts out. And we get these down to 45 foot pounds. Kind of tough, tough with this bracket on here. All right, there you guys. Pretty simple video, I know, but we had to do that so we can finish our valve train. 
talk about our lifters, adjusting our push rods, rockers, setting our lash, and doing all that. That will be our next video. Thanks for stopping by Pete's Garage.